Yeah, makes you think. Makes you think. As I said at the end of the last one, Agent P3, you're a fucking dipshit. Um. Okay, I guess we're going up that hill. Nobody fucking touch me. So, Charles, when Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere on an assignment with, say, Stockhausen, he's guarded by that red monster? Makes sense. Comrade Stockhausen is incapable of independently reaching his destination within a facility swarming with hostile robots, and Sechenov would never remain unguarded. Why? He's a hero of the Soviet Union. Everybody loves the guy. Why would anybody want to hurt him? Why indeed, Comrade Major? You think there are people in the Kremlin who are jealous of him and want to get rid of him? It's more likely that they just want power over Collective. If you rule the world, it's hardly surprising if people want to take your throne. Very powerful people. I'd rather have Dr. Sechenov be the General Secretary of Collective than anybody else. The General Secretary? Is that what you think he's going to be? Of course. What else would he be? I hope you're right. <clears throat> Dude, the glove honestly has some... ...pretty good insight on this shit. Why is P3 such a fucking moron? Charles, how could that prick Petrov send intel to the west? The facility's under lockdown. Petrov cannot transfer anything directly to anyone, or he would have already done so. That is why he is attempting to deceive Collective Central Control Hub. Are you talking about that big-ass ball floating in the sky? You mean Petrov's somewhere close by? I believe so. The emergency protocol has blocked most communication between Facility 3826 and the outside world. This block cannot be overcome. An entire scientific academy would be required, such as the Academy of Consequences. Then what's he hoping to accomplish? As you have no doubt already observed, there is one communication channel connected to the outside world that is not subject to the emergency protocol. The secret government line. Quite right. That channel is used by Dr. Sechenov to contact the Kremlin. No one else has access to it. Yeah, no one except Granny Zena. So, what's Petrov trying to pull? I believe he is trying to dupe the Central Hub by passing himself off as Dr. Sechenov. That son of a bitch. Don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Okay, um... We're about ten hours into this game, ten and a half. I don't really feel like we're that far. <laughs> the pacing of it's been like... Charles, maybe it's me, really but... Charles, a chance Petrov could fool the hub? It wasn't exactly programmed by morons, right? They must have put protections in place. Petrov is a talented engineer and programmer. There's a reason he made it to Facility 3826. He's the one who optimized the programmer-to-robot and robot-to-robot -robot digital data transfer protocols. So he knows better than anyone how the central hub works. Does that mean Petrov could actually fool the hub? Then why did Dr. Sechenov trust these protocols to a single guy? It's temporary. After the launch of Collective 2.0, digital communication channels will be rendered useless and irrelevant. Everything will be transmitted via neuropolymer wave emission. Binary code will be left in the dustbin of history. And so will programmers. No wonder Petrov is so pissed. He wants to fuck shit up while he still can. In broad strokes. Although I suspect that Petrov has other motives. He's a traitor to the motherland. Fuck his motives. How long do we have to stop him? Hacking Collective Central Hub is a very difficult task. Even with the right communication Ow. equipment, Petrov will need considerable time to do it. So where can he find that kind of equipment? Other than the Science Center. Only aboard the Flying Chelame Complex. And nowhere else? <laughs> That's great. Your goose is cooked now, Petrov. You traitorous dickhead. So, I'm just now remembering as well that, uh... Petrov is still alive. The guy whose head we found was not there anymore. Jesus Christ, bro. Whose head was no longer there. He's still alive. He's out there somewhere. And I guess we're trying to protect the motherland and, uh... Hey, we're gonna Charles, go finish him off. 
What does the Sechenov Center study? Radio waves, Comrade Major. It contains equipment that will help Petrov detect you. So move with caution. Guess we better stay quiet then. What? What do you mean, stay quiet? Are we getting close to a point where we need to sneak around? I'm doing what I can, alright. Please don't kill me. I was saying, like, yeah, this it, the pacing of this has been really like not a whole lot has happened for ten hours to go by. Uh oh. Uh But uh yeah, it's ten and a half fucking hours. Like how long can this game be? Uh oh. Shit. Like, where's this music coming from? Oh, the speakers. Um. It's been fairly fun so far. Super wonky. Uh. Not very well optimized. But it's okay. I mean, it's still still okay. No. <sighs> Thank you. Please select the desired procedure. See, I don't understand why some of them some of them talk like that and the other ones don't. Um Jesus Christ, some goddamn rave music going on. So, what will it be, Major? Uh, I'm Weapons? just... Uh, I'm just gonna take what's in my storage. Whoops. There. And maybe some of these as well. Nope, no, no space. Um... This is the studio's first game, right? So, I mean, with the... Oh. Jesus Christ. Is there a camera seeing me? What's going on? God. It's just, yeah, it's all over the place a little bit. Like, the sound design... Can't really tell where anything's coming from. Um... It's not as immersive as I'd like it to be. Like, that music is way too fucking loud. Of course, I could go in and... And change it in the settings, but it's not like if if you're wearing headphones and you're listening to this you, you'll know, you'll notice like it's I don't know, it's just not very directional. Oh shit. Fuck. Um Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. Um Frame rate's high, but its stability is not that high. Uh, ow. I think the next game that they make will probably be really good. With the success of this one. I'm curious what the budget was for this game. Oh my god. Holy shit. Like, I don't know if you could see the difference when, like, loading in, just, like, right here. <sighs> Maybe it's because my graphic settings are on medium, but it... I'm running a 1080 Ti, this... This thing is fucking one of the best graphics card that's... cards that was ever built. Of course, every graphics card that is, you know, top of the line is pretty much the best one that was ever built until it wasn't. Um... That was a really dumb fucking thing to say. Uh, just my computer's having a hard time. I'm not used to it. Maybe I'm getting... Holy shit. Maybe I'm getting old. Maybe the fucking computer's getting old. 
I don't want that to be the case. I don't have the fucking money to replace the shit. Ow. Fuck, 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 fuck. Plus, I don't know if they ever mentioned that you could fucking break the shields by hitting the middle part, but I figured that shit out by myself. Get me in here. Excuse me. Can you open the door, please? God damn it. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, no, fuck that. I'm not fighting that guy yet. I'm just gonna... Whoops. Ouch. Oh, of course. I'm out of everything. Son of a bitch. This is horse shit. This is horse shit. What in the hell, man? Cool, I'm out of fucking everything. Fuck off! Jesus! Open this fucking bullshit. Damn it, damn it. Jesus Christ. <sighs> and like, as cool as this looting system is, like having to hold F and use the directional keys is fucking annoying. And if I don't sit there and hold it on the po like the point for long enough, it doesn't fully search the whole thing. Like if I just go by it, see, it's not fully looted. There could still be something in there. I think that's something that, you know, I have to work on as well. Is Shut the right fuck Keep it up. Down. Uh, gotcha, bitch. Not today. <laughs> Shut up. Ow! How do you... Turn in midair. Fucking piece of shit. Oh no. Fucking go. Yo, look what we have here. Oh, God damn it, P three. You killed him. That's enough, Victor. So much death. I just wow. knocked him out. He's unconscious. Okay? Terrible fucking voice acting. <laughs> oh, that was bad. It's noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against the sea of troubles. And by opposing him, so no, much it's, it's death. Wrong. It's wrong. I don't agree. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything. And you, you. I'm a doctor. 
Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of such enough orders and They didn't say attack dog, up. why? I'll program a treatment and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan. I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick. <laughs> And painless. So such enough talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us. <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? The trough? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's not Victor's fault. Huh. It was a local malfunction. A local malfunction? Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that if you're not controlling them? <laughs> Victor, you said you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and you believed him. What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor. I had no choice. A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything. How could you? Is he gonna kill her? How could I? You said it yourself. The whole world might end. Damn, this is some old style fucking cutscene. Matching up voice acting after the fact. No, don't touch me. <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? You gonna smash a chair on me? Hey, Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. Can't do it himself. He has to have a robot do it. <laughs> Can the glove do anything? What the fuck? Oh, hey, buddy. P3 to Chelome. Petrov got away. Again. You seem to enjoy chasing the man, Nechayev. Petrov must not interfere with the launch of Collective. Find the criminal. Now. You have drawn the wizard's ire, Comrade Major. No shit. Get off my grill, will ya? Is that what they do? They just spit out those fucking. Uh oh. What, did you not expect to hear from me? Not only can I hear you just fine, I'm gonna see you real soon, too. So get ready, prick. Trust me, the preparations are well underway. There will be surprises, dog. You turned Larissa against me, bitch. She doesn't return my calls. <laughs> you breaking my heart. I don't give two wet farts about your relationship. Charles, can you trace the call? Where is that shit stain? The signal's coming from the Plisetskaya Theater. A theater? Right here in the facility? <laughs> what a clown. It's a theater, comrade major, not a circus. Marking the waypoint. Whatever. I won't let that traitor get away from me again. <clears throat> I think- so I've- I've heard a couple things about, like, the- the voice acting. And I think P3's really isn't that bad. And I like Charles, too. He's a disembodied voice, so he doesn't need to, like, coordinate with, like, any of his... ...his actions and shit. But, my god, that last cutscene was one of the... ...fucking... ...worst takes... ...I've heard in a long time. About people dying. That shit was... ...wildly bad. I don't get what the fuck was up with that. Another dead village. Yeah, Blanchkov. The facility complexes, especially Pavlov, 
Obtain certain resources from here. The automatic sorting hub is used to provide the nearby factory with birds and animals for creating neuropolymers. Science is a real zero-sum game for game. What a clever pun. I'm impressed. Yeah, whatever. Jesus Christ. We gotta go through there. Oh no. How the fuck did you see me? Serving oh, major P3. Fuck. Unfortunately, you are about to be killed. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh no, oh no, fuck me. Fucking hell. Come on. Jesus. Based on the enemy's alert level, oh, ah. you are fucked. You asked for it. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Holy shit, holy fuck, holy shit. What the? That's rude. What happens? Fucking piece of shit, bitch. <sighs> oh, sup, asshole. What the? All right, we'll fuck him. We're gonna fight another fucking Incredibles, bitch. Incredibles so, fucking what robot. Will it be major? Don't need that, don't need that. Um, put that away. Probably bring these in. What the fuck is this? Guess I'll have one of those. Um. The Svezdochka is what we want to get. That's the shit he's got on the cover. And did the loading screen. Already owns sufficient resources to use all those. Don't want them. Um. This is about as prepared as I could possibly fucking be for this bullshit. Okay. Ah. 
Ah, crispy critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forrester Village. You're now fully on, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as the Beliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes flat. I can't wait to pay that thing back with interest. Alright. Fuck what? Resistant to gunfire, huh? Well, that's great. Hey, fucking... Vulnerable to explosives. Well, I don't have any of those. Ouch. That thing is not going down easy. Is there anything around I can use? Ouch. I'm about to have used all my fucking ammo. Ouch. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't like that. Yo, 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 no, 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 you don't. Ouch. Oh, shit. Uh. Those two areas are not. Are there. The fire's not going away. Ow. Oh my god, bro. Oh my... Now all I have is this. No. Come on, you fucking Belyash. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. Ah! Ah! Fuck. Oh, fuck. Heal. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on.
Oh fuck, come on. Uh, no, 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 no. Fuck, I walked right into the goddamn fire. Get up! Ah. Ah. One more. Oh my god. Come on, you piece of shit. Oh my god. Fuck. Bitch. Oh fuck. Holy shit. Oh. Christ. How fucking long was that? Like, f about five minutes flat. Holy shit. Oh my god. I feel short of breath after that fucking. Goddamn horse shit. Why am I holding this? She's a robot. People have never been nice to me, but she is. The way she looks at me, it's like there's a stream of pure energy in her eyes. She understands me uh, better than any girl ever has. Anyway, I've made up my mind. I'm proposing to her tomorrow. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here, Vasilich? Are you working here or not? Shit, I'm coming. Coming, huh? Very interesting. Charles, can you track Petrov's whereabouts? Unfortunately, no. Petrov is no longer broadcasting. I will track him as soon as he does. Gotcha. That means he won't do it again. That dirty, rotten <laughs> hiding away in some dark <laughs> Sit there and hope the robots kill me before I find him. I ought to warn you that Petrov knows this theater quite well. He has good reason to hope for such an outcome. Hope is dangerous. It'll lull him into a false sense of security. Uh. Give me intel on the theater. The Maya Plisetskaya Theater was founded at the facility in 1948. It was the first theater in the world to use robots as performers. It is the most famous theater in the Soviet Union, so tickets can be quite hard to come by. So it's for the rich and powerful. You have no idea. Before the theater was fully roboticized, Party members would order the best ballerinas in the Whoops, did not mean to do that. Son of a bitch, I meant to jump. But it's just a box you can walk through. Uh... Can you tell me anything more useful and less disgusting? As part of the facility, the theater is without a doubt a scientific establishment. Its artistic vein is melded with commerce, as is the study of robot behavior and human reactions to it. I have no combat-related data. Hmm. How does Petrov know this theater so well? It was one of the areas his activities were focused on before he was declared a traitor. <sighs> so, 
He's a nostalgic puppet master, huh? He configured and tested the theater's robots and also programmed and studied the interplay of various crafts. In a certain sense, Collective was born on the stage of this theater. Hmm. How'd that prick start working here? He was recommended by Comrade Stockhausen. Oh yeah, no wonder. They're both lousy pieces of shit. Pardon me, but I fail to understand why you put Comrade Stockhausen on the same level as a traitor. <laughs> Hang on. How'd Petrov manage to butter up Sechenov? Did that lickspittle Stockhausen recommend him to the boss too? Victor Petrov optimized the robot control loading protocols. Data loading speed was tripled. That was when Comrade Stockhausen recommended Petrov to Dr. Sechenov. Shouldn't have done that. Wow, very insightful. Let's go see what's what. Okay. Oh, here we go. No cartoons today? Alright. Um... Saving data. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, that seems like a good place to just hold off on. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break, and then when I come back, we can do it all over again.